but let me start um, first of all to announce that uh, we're all very satisfied the football is back uh, with all the safety measures that had to be put in place and and all that it really implies with a without a uh, with the crowds in the stadium um, but let me say as well to give in the name of our club uh, condolences to to all those who who struggled more during this period our hearts and our minds are with them as well and the fact that we get uh, football back and and we can ease a little bit the the difficult moments of a lot of our fans you know makes us proud and, and happy so apart from that we're looking forward to start all of us all of us all the players uh, no one had 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 any doubt of coming back to training, of getting back into the games. We've been working very hard and very good during the lockdown, and and we're happy to announce that we are on a on a on a decent spot at the minute when it comes to to fitness. and And we know there's a, a tough task to demand uh, the short squad these nine games, but we prepared as well for that. and 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 we just hope that uh, we can cope the best possible for us and uh, and that we can go with the same mentality of trying to to compete and win every game that we face mm -hmm. you touched upon the safety of the players how satisfied are you that everything's been done in the, the days weeks and, and months leading up to this point to to ensure the welfare and the, the health and safety of the players? very satisfied i think the whole staff has put a fantastic work in it as well the players i congratulate the players and the staff personally uh, on the beginning because when we started back training because I think all the work they put into and all the effort and mentality they put into uh, it's going to be something that will help us massively now you know I think uh, we are a club that did our homework when it comes to to prepare during the lockdown we always thought the football will be back we always thought that the the, the important thing was to make it safe and to make sure that that would be safe and and as soon as we got to our as safe as possible as soon as we got into that position, uh, no one had any doubts, had any doubts, and we all came back here with a with a view of of going compete those nine games. So that's something that, as a as a head coach of the club, makes me very proud when I see the commitment that all the players have and they will have until the end for the club. Mm -hmm. In terms of the condition of these players, there's been certain protocols that every club have had to adhere to, from non contract uh, non contact, moving through the various stages. How confident are you that come Saturday afternoon, your players will be in good enough shape to be competitive again for the championship? Yeah, I'm very confident that we're going to be to the best version possible of ourselves during, uh, despite the circumstances as well. It's a situation that happened to every club, so every, cl every club is in the, on, the, on the same grounds. And when it comes to all the work that we've done, um, makes me feel that uh, we've got to be there and we've got to give them, give them a game because... Um, uh, we used all these moments to work physically on the players and, and they endured as well, mentally very well. There was one of my, my doubts how every one of them would cope with this situation. And the fact they all came back desperate to get the football back, it just shows that they, they work as well a lot on, on keeping healthy mentally. And, and now for them is slowly getting back to a normal life. And the fact that we have a competitive game on Saturday, it's a, a big proof of that. And um, we need to still face the challenges ahead of us with a little bit of the unknown above us on how we got to deal with some situations. But we prepared a lot of protocols and, and a lot of plans and we tested it and, and we feel comfortable with it and we put it as easy as possible for the players. And what was very important for me is the fact that we get the players back into a unit mentality, into a team mentality to re rem remember and, and, and be focused on, on what makes us a team and what kind of team we are and, and, and how we compete together. And this is something we've been doing in the last few weeks. And, and that's, that's something that's going to be important on Saturday. So uh, definitely, I would say that we are in a position to go there and compete. But we are aware that, that West Brom is a, a tough opposition to start like this kind of new tournament. But <clears throat> it's, one of, it's one of the nine, and it's nothing more than one of the nine. Prepared with the behind closed doors friendly last weekend at St Andrews. How different an experience will it be in a stadium with no fans at all, both for you and the players? Uh, uh, we spoke a lot and we put a lot of ideas together with the players. That uh, for us, uh, the biggest challenge is, is how do we keep the focus on being focused on our roles and our jobs during the game, despite of having no, fa no fans and, and despite of, of the situation being a little bit different to what we used to. Um, 
I think the, the secret to the success in these nine games relies there, you know, in the ability to, from the day one, from the beginning, uh, and that for us was last Saturday against against Wolverhampton. From that moment, keep that that focus. Don't allow the game to break up. To 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 that we don't lose our concentration for a second. So we we already in competitive mode from the beginning. We tested all these things um, last Saturday as well as playing 90 minutes. You know, and 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 we satisfied the, the way that that we did it. And in my opinion, that's something that will will weigh a lot in the first three games, you know, because afterwards all the teams will get into into the game competitive mode again, you know. So the the sooner we are in it, um, the better we are ready to 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 compete. Five home games in these last you know run of fixtures. Is home advantage not as big a factor as it has been? No, the game is leveled up. I spoke to a lot of my colleagues in Germany and, and in Spain. Uh, now it's even games actually start show that the opposition has a little bit more more advantage than, than you possibly at your place but that's something again that it all comes back to the to the focus we spoke with the players we play with Wolverhampton at home at St Andrews <clears throat> that to be fair now the grass it looks lovely but it was fun. it was great great and and a very fine feeling to to be back back home St Andrews um, but we tested that we tested what's the impact of not having no one there to play, you know, and so that's even more important to keep the focus to make sure that that we treat it like a, like it's it's a stadium full and everything goes our way, you know. So it's very important to to forget about this and to focus on on what it's the importance of the game, you know, the roles and responsibilities of every other player, the how we play together as a team and how we compete together as a team and what makes us be be at the team that we are. A few managers have spoken about approaching this nine games as a mini tournament in five weeks. Are you expecting to see some surprising results because form effectively is out the window now? Yeah, I think anything can happen, especially in the in the first few games. That's why we put a lot of work in, you know, I'm, I'm repeating the same thing again and you'll have to excuse me on that, but that's what's important, you know, to have that, that focus that um, it looks like a mini tournament, but in the end it's it's nine games, three points per game and and our mentality the whole season has been on focus one game at a time and that's exactly what we do so one game at a time and and now it's West Brom and we need to compete the way we are and after that game is gone anything can happen because of the situations but after that game is gone uh, we're going to the next one always having uh, always being very focused and concentrated as a team you know as a as a rule of thumb for 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 these games you know where do you stand on the rule change? Obviously now nine players allowed on the bench, five substitutes. Does this favour big squads? Yeah, it favours the it favours the the teams who have the better squads. Would that be a concern of yours, or are you confident that the players, especially with the under twenty three that have been involved in recent weeks, that they may have a part to play in this? Of course, the the chance that they have to to play a part is is higher now than before, but. As a head coach, no one would ever ever think that I'm not someone who who's never given a chance to young lads. You know, six 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 players made the debut this season, one making a, a huge outbreak. You know, and the fact that we 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 are allowed to have <clears throat> 20 players in the squad list, it opens the door as well. You know, and then they have to fight for for the chance because football is not about granting and 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 giving away and presence. You know, it's about earning the rights to be there, ready for the team. And ready to to help the team, you know. And this is something that that we try to to get the young players with the right mentality for them to understand that. Mm -hmm. West Bromwich Albion, six points clear of third, one of the two sides who occupy the automatic promotion spots. How dangerous can they be on their day? Uh, for me, it's one of the best teams. It's one of the it's one of the best West Brom sides that I've seen in, in many years. And it's a team that I love. The the way they play, the way the how they handle all the four moments of the game. Uh, I always. I always have good words for for Slavin Village because I, I, every, everywhere has been you know I really I really like the, the the football he develops in the team and how he handles uh, uh, the the tough the tough goals they they has in mind with a, such a, a good squad uh, but yeah possibly um, I'm I'm pretty sure that the West Brom uh, will be in the Premier League next season you know and uh, we just need to make sure that we put it very difficult for them. Uh, from Saturday, but we know we are very aware of their squad. We 
the, we know what happened in San Andreas, you know, as soon as they made some subs, they changed the game for them, you know, and, and that puts them a little bit ahead of everyone else. But still, uh, I have very good words for Slaven because it's, in football it's not enough to have a very good squad. You need to make it work, you need to make it, to make it gel, you need to make it um, a unit tactically, you know, and that's what he's achieved very, very early in the season, and that puts them where, where, where it is now. But I trust my team and my players to to make sure that we understand the strengths and the weaknesses and, and maybe they don't have many weaknesses but we'll try to to play a game that we can we can we can exploit as much as possible and 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 try to be competitive try to get something out of it of course is it a good time to play them given the fact that we come into the game off the back of three months with no football there's no real momentum for anybody in this division now so potentially is this something that could suit us yeah if you need to ask me after the game because <laughs> if if we win, I will tell you yes, and if we if we don't win, I will tell you no. But uh, I think we, I was very happy with the with the form that this team has been having since since the first of January, you know, because uh, we lost only two games from January till here. Uh, actually, first of January is the first game that we lost, and then the other one is the, the last that we played. Uh, but the form was good. The team was confident. It was comfortable, and and it was competitive, and and it was the football was good. You know, uh, we're doing a few things that we wanted to correct. That we used these weeks to correct them as well, and and get back into where we were. So uh, I was happy with the form that we that we were in, and and possibly I was happy to play West Brom then. But for the circumstances, we we play them now, and I don't know. I'll tell you after the game. <laughs> We talk about squad size. I mean, what this break has done, it's allowed players like Jeremy Bayer to recover from his injury. And Michael Kidman Bell, who played the full game uh, at the weekend. So I suppose the positives come from that in terms of players coming back into the squad. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's good that Kifton Bell now played 90 minutes, been working very well, it looks, it looks fit again, which is important because Kifton Bell plays a, a, a very good part in, in the way that we are as a team because um, is a is a leader. Is a character. You know, is is very smart uh, for the role that he's playing in the team, and 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 it will be needed. You know, it's it's going to be a player that's going to be needed. You know, for this for this period, and and Bella as well, which are a bit more cautious, more cautious. I'm more on the caution side with him compared to Kifton Bell because the injury that he had is is more a muscle. So I uh, I use this moment to to slow slow building him in, but but he looks he looks ready as well, and and that's a positive for the squad. Yeah. Finally, for me, in terms of injuries, how are we shaping up? Well, we have two two players um, suffering a, a a minor issue. That, uh, I don't know if they're going to be available for Saturday or, or possibly for for next week. So it's going to be a last minute thing. Apart from that, everyone fit and healthy and 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 ready. So, which is is good for the circumstances because I think uh, the fact of coming from a from a from a period there's no competitive football, getting to a period of of proper training. Uh, you know the risk is always there, so I'm, I'm happy that we try to navigate and we navigated well this this situation.